Isaac Weintraub here on the 10th hole at Seascape Golf Club. I've got a few winter tips to sort of help you through this wet season. Um, number one thing, these videos are not intended for me to go out and find new students. They're intended for you, my current students, those of you that have taken lessons from me to just sort of continue to talk about the things that we've already talked about. And so, number one thing here, we've got a chip shot. I've got about five yards of green to go over and then I've got about 10 yards of green that I'm working with. So it's maybe a 30 foot, 30, 40 foot chip. Um, in the winter, because the ground conditions are soft, I would use less loft. That means that I try to chip fewer times with my wedges, like my lob wedge and my sand wedge, and I've got a nine iron here. The reason for that is that the less loft the club has, the more bounce it has, and the more likely it, it, it is to not dig. And as we all know, having a chip shot dig in the winter doesn't really lead to very good results. So number one thing here for the winter, really simple, use a nine iron and eight iron when possible and try to avoid chipping off of the fairway with your sand wedge and lob wedge. Um, just know that if you have to, say you have to chip over a bunker, you have to chip off of a lie where you don't have a lot of grass under you, it's gonna be harder this time of year. You have to be more precise when the ground conditions are wet. So be kind to yourself if you're chipping sort of goes through a bit of woes in the winter. Everybody goes through it. If you can, use a nine iron instead of a sand wedge to chip with and uh, see what happens. Let me know in the comments what you notice and uh, we'll see you at the course.